we have this uh, migration plan um, to probably several years ago and uh, this time we wanted to actually make it happen so we have actually inquired and uh, yes we are on in the process so at the same time we have to also actually um, get the English test so my scoring would be 65 for a minimum so that's why we actually set for PTE exam actually For the first time, uh, somewhere in the month of uh, November, November the 8th, that was the first time that he set for a, a PTE, an English test. Uh, our first time, our first attempt was a PTE, but uh, we did not score well. I think overall, we, we, we got slightly around around 60 to 65, so we could not pass above 65. Some of it, we got 58, 57, some, some, uh, uh, some of the class, okay. But then the second time, we did take a first attempt of doing IELTS, okay. But in IELTS, right, um, I was speaking and writing for me, I got seven each, speaking seven, writing seven, and the, the other two I have six and six. And same goes with Alpana, she has half seven and half six. So <laughs> then, uh, and then then that's where we decided, okay, let's stick on to PTE, PTE exams and we were focusing on PTE. So our third, and for me, it took me like the fourth attempt to get through, a minimum of 65 and above. And for Kalpana, she took her a third attempt in order for her to get through. Personally, I mean, um, I kind of like actually um, IELTS structure because it's pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. um, however, um, another concern is the speaking and the writing part. I believe it's marked by an examiner, whereas uh, PTE is mm -hmm. actually an entirely computerized uh, examination. So I find it that uh, although PTE has many sections, but mm -hmm. with the right uh, guidance and um, tips, tips and tricks and how to tackle those sections, I think it's achievable to actually target at least a minimum of yeah, 65 mm -hmm. for us. Uh, the whole idea is like uh, what Master PTE taught us is a strategy and how to answer against a computer AI. So once we, we learn the art and I think probably we could we could score it well. Yeah. Uh, the, the more it's all and again it's all about practice, practice and practice. I do admit I did not put much practice because I was juggling with work, kids, running around there here with my poor parents and stuff like that. So I think uh, yeah, I think if I would have practiced more, definitely I would have probably would have hit 79 of each sections. Well, um, so what we did was um, we told ourselves that yes, we probably we have self studied mm. uh, and then uh, did not achieve the desired score for mm. the first attempt, second attempt. So mm. we thought that we need to change our strategy. Mm. So we got to know Master BT from our migration lawyer mm. and he said that perhaps we will need to have some mm. tutorial that you know to pass within mm. the first sitting. So that's where that we actually uh, uh, called Kelly yourself <laughs> and got okay. engaged and uh, yeah and then we started to practice. So timing wise, um, basically what what we do is we basically after work mm. we just spend about um, two eight, hours. an hour or yeah two hours or mm. at least a thirty minutes just to do a practice on speaking mm. or doing the blanks or something like that. Yeah. And then uh, maybe over the weekend we attended a um, physical class at the beginning, yeah. but then the situation is not permissible for us to join the physical uh, physical class. class. Yeah. So, um, so what we did, we did online class and then we did weekend practice mm. at least an hour, finish up our practice tasks given by our tutors. We'll try our best to finish up, but <laughs> sometimes, yeah, it's not easy actually. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's how we actually manage juggling yeah. with um, work, kids and uh, yeah, and yeah. studying PT. Uh, I mean, the same as what Kalpana said, uh, I think minimum or prime or level best for two hours especially doing a lot of uh, speaking and, and filling the blanks and my weakness area is actually filling the blanks no not even filling the blanks the, the reorder paragraph so I was, I was practicing more on the reorder paragraph so minimum two hours sometimes if I go to the office if I, even if I have uh, a free slot of half an hour to one hour I will, I will try to utilize that as well in the office so yeah juggling that and come back so I, I try to prioritize things so sometimes you know family comes and all kids and all so I do plan I do a lot of scheduling, prioritizing, then I always sit myself in my room, study room and that's where I could be able to focus. So once I settle everything, my kids, everything has been done for them, then only probably even like every day I'll be like studying like late night, like probably 11 to 1 a.m., 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. So that's how I kind of manage my time. For me, I think personally it's the repeat sentence. I had a tough time to actually repeat those sentences and um, yeah, fill in the blanks and uh, a bit yeah. of reorder paragraph. Uh, I think maybe speaking, this, yeah, speaking was in a way, initially it was just like talking to myself and all that, but yes, after 
Kenny yourself actually yeah, guided in the way that you know, what should I do? So the strategy. So, the strategy. so basically speak louder, speak clearer and uh, smoothly without having any um, interruption. Uh. So so that part initially I thought I could and I could not make it. <laughs> but then yeah, 90. I actually managed to get 90. 90. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, so with this current uh, situation, we are required to actually wear a mask. So at the same time, um, we wasn't sure of how loud can we speak and all that. So there are some um, procedures that they actually advise us. Sometimes you, you know, if it's too loud, then probably you need to wear um, earplugs and then with the speaker, I mean with the headset on top of it, and then speak a bit more um, louder. louder. But personally, for me, uh, before joining Master PD, I actually sat for the exam, uh, self-studied. So actually, first day of exam, I actually got a culture shock because when everyone starts speaking, okay. everyone was just screaming their head off and speaking very, very loud. So that kind of like, um, yeah, completely disrupted me as well. And I, I was like, state of shock and then only that section. But then subsequently, it was just like pin drop silence. Lah. So it's, I think, more to strategy, how to tackle every section. Mm. So when it comes to speaking, most probably we have to be more focused and try not to get distracted and get used to the sound mm. and then just Get on and speak. My my first attempt as what Kalpana said is the same because both of us sat in the same room. We just had one corner apart and uh, yeah, I really had culture shock because both my neighbors they were basically shouting all over their mic and, and that has really kind of like demor demoralize or demotivate me or put I mean I put it's a total culture shock. So that's where I started to learn, oh this is the technique. So when I went and spoke to the the exam coordinator, the center test center coordinator, then they said, Yeah, this is the normal thing, you guys have to like get used to it, you know. So that's one of the things that we learned the first. So then subsequently, I think we got it, it won't be a problem. So the same thing. Yeah. 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 So sometimes even we get our kids to shout and yet uh, we make them to shout, play around. And then we will be like uh, kind of like tuning ourselves for the sound. I mean, we kind of are like get ourselves yeah, used to it while the kids are shouting. So yeah, probably that has trained us well, I guess. <laughs> probably. <laughs> I think basically it's just two things. Okay. If you are disciplined, I think yeah. then then you are on target. As well as I think we also need to practice yeah. since you are not familiar with uh, the format. format and then the uh, tips and tricks and all that. Because to be honest, I thought it was just like an English test. Mm. Yeah. Even speaking I, I, and I, I, writing a lot of business language, business yeah. English and all that. So we don't find it an issue. But uh. after really sitting down and putting a thought of it, yeah, I say like, oh, this is just like an exam. Yeah. It tests our basic uh, English knowledge and then as well as I mean the basic stuff that we have it's been quite some time that we've not um, I mean uh, revisit yeah, exactly. this that was like school days back then yeah. so we practically had to like calm, calm down ourselves and say yeah mm. we need to study so the key thing is yeah if you can be disciplined then mm. yes I think you're on target and yeah. as well as don't forget to practice because yeah. as, as the exam nearing then yeah you tend to forget you yeah. know certain sections so continuous practice mm. will actually help and familiar the um, formatting of uh, PTA exam mm. actually Another key message I would like to tell those PTE takers is never ever underestimate PTE. That's what I did. Because no matter how good they are in their English, their communication, their writing, right? Uh, never ever underestimate because they have their own way or their own format to score at least even 65 or 79 and above. So yeah. yeah. Practice is the key thing. Yeah. yeah. Thanks to Thanks to Master PT. Yeah. yeah. Master PT really I would say, I mean, probably I mean, Master PT is the one who helped us. I should thank them. Yep. Thank to all the dedicated teachers, Samira, Kelly, Kiki, and you guys really rock. You know, thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you.